Welcome to the first video on Microsoft Windows 10. This is an upgrade that's available for users who have Windows 7 and Windows 8. And in this first video, I'm just going to show you some basic features to help you understand whether or not this is something that you want to upgrade to. Um, one reason you might want to consider an upgrade earlier rather than later is I believe the f it's a free upgrade right now and it might not be in a couple of months. So this is an opportunity to get it without having to put down any, any additional money. Um, the computer I'm using right now is the Surface Pro, the first version of it. And so this shows it does work on older systems and I haven't had any problems with it. I've also upgraded a newer system and it's working great there as well. Um, so we're also looking right now at the desktop mode. Basically it operates into tablet and desktop. And if you're used to Windows 8.1, it's probably Probably going to look a little bit more like this. You're used to this mode right here where it's showing live tiles on the on the start screen. And so if you press the home button, whatever, it's going to it's going to bring you back to, to this one. And although I love it on tablet, on desktop, it's a bit of a pain. But what they've done with the desktop version in Windows 10 is when you hit the, the start um, button here, it actually brings up the start menu on the side here, so you can see it has apps, most recently use apps, but then it keeps the live tiles in a little side window here. So hopefully sort of the best of both worlds. Um, I'll get into it a little bit on another video on how to customize this, but just realize that um, you can pin apps to the start and then you have this all apps icon where it shows all the applications that are on the system. Some of these are folders, so you'll see sub ones. Um, if you have a lot of apps, you might also want to just click on one of these letters here, and it'll show you basically the starting letter of each app, and so you can click a letter and it'll automatically scroll to that one. You pick the, the application you want, and it will start that up um, on the screen. Now, the other thing, though, one other feature that's really nice with this version of Windows, I'm sure there's going to be a number of people applauding this one, is if you go and start one of the modern apps, or what I think they're calling the universal apps now, um, such as Weather, this used to open full screen, and you didn't really have any choice with that. It wasn't mixed with your desktop apps. Um, it would just take the whole screen, or you could sort of snap it to one side. With this this version of Windows, though, all of these all of these applications can now be resized, just like your de desktop applications. So you can see here, you can make it whatever size you want. Um, now, because they've added this ability to have these these modern apps, um, metro apps, they were called right at the beginning, um, on the same screen, they've gotten rid of this charm menu. There is now an action center which does something a little bit differently, but all the menu options that used to be on the side of the window are now actually located in the window itself. Um, so you see those here. If you want to see the description, you just click on this bar here and it will show you what the available options are for the weather, etc. Um, so big change there, being able to resize these, these windows. Um, now another feature that um, I like, and if you've used Windows Phone, um, you've seen this before, is something called Cortana. It's the basically Microsoft version of Siri. And if you click on here, the first time it's going to do some setup. But you can see she already has, has my name down. And then you can hit the microphone icon to ask her various questions. Um, so let's try this as an example. What is the current temperature? It's currently 74 and sunny. So that's one example. You can also ask her to do things. Um, so let's try this one. Please schedule an appointment for tomorrow at 7 a.m. Sure. What do you want to call it? Pick up dry cleaning. All right. I'll add pick up dry cleaning to your calendar for tomorrow at 7 a.m. Is that right? And so at that point, I would just acknowledge that I wanted the appointment, and then she'd set it up in my calendar. A reminder would come up on the system. Um, so a cool, a cool feature that I'm still exploring myself, and we'll go into that a little bit more in, in a future video. Um, Another thing I want to show you is in Windows 10, they've replaced Microsoft um, Internet Explorer um, with something called Microsoft Edge. And this is really sort of in response to Chrome. This, this is a very lightweight browser. It's going to be faster than Internet Explorer. It's not going to have backwards compatibility with old applications. And so 
Internet Explorer is still on the system, but this is going to be the default one it uses. And um, it's a normal browser in that you just type the URL you want to go to. So actually, here, let me go to like slate.com. Um, and my internet connection isn't great here, but you can see it's, it's still not too bad. Um, so it brings up an article. Now one feature I already like is they have this thing called um, reader mode or yeah, reading view. So this web page you can see here it has little graphics and Facebook links and all that kind of stuff. That can be hard to read and scroll through. So if you click on this reader view, you'll see that it gets rid of all of the extra stuff and it makes it much easier to sort of read through the text. It's now using more of the screen um, to switch back. You just click it there. Um, again, this is something that um, is new. It's a new browser. I'm still exploring it myself and I'll go into a little bit more in another video what some of the other features are in, in Edge. Um, but we can just close that down. Um, now the last thing, let's say that you, um, you're using your desktop and you're sort of doing two different tasks. So in this screen I'm doing something with paint and, and with the weather and I want to switch to maybe more of a work task. Usually what you'd have to do is minimize your windows, bring up something else, but now they have something that's called um, virtual desktops. So if I do the scroll action that normally in 8.1 would show you all the open windows, it still does the same thing, shows you the open windows, but you'll notice at the bottom right hand corner here there's something that is called new desktop. So now I can go to that new desktop, there's nothing open on it. Um, I want to open up Excel. So I open up the Excel app and maybe I want to make it full screen here. So I have my Excel worksheet here. I'm doing whatever work I'm doing. Now I want to switch back over to the what I was doing before, but I'm going to come back to work at some, some point in time. I can hit the Windows and Tab key to now switch to the original desktop and everything will be kept the way that it was originally. So I can go and resize this window, do whatever, and then Windows Tab again, move back to work, and everything will remain the way it was. So really sort of keeping some separation of, of your work, not having to move icons and windows all over the place. It will just keep copies of them. Um, so that's a pretty good overview, I think, of, of some of the, the major features in Windows 10. Um, if you do want to do an upgrade, it's fairly simple. Um, you just want to go to Control Panel, um, and I obviously can't show you what it's going to look like on older versions, but it's basically if you do Windows X Control Panel, it's going to show you the, the new version of Control Panel. So um, this isn't what you're going to see. Oh, no, actually it is showing. It's, this is similar to the old one. And then you go System Security, and then there should be a Windows Update. I'm not seeing it. So they moved it in this one. Um, so anyways, let me just go and I'm going to type in Windows Update here. And you just go to Windows Update, tell it to check for updates, and it should show you um, that Windows 10 is available. It's almost a three gigabyte file, so be prepared. It's going to take a little while to download. And then the installation, I want to say it was about half an hour on my system once everything was downloaded. Um, it'll go through a couple steps, but it was, it was really easy um, on the two devices I upgraded. Um, so again, just go to um, Control Panel, Windows Update, check for updates, you should see Windows 10 is available, and then just get it started. Make sure your machine is plugged in so that it has plenty of power to get through it, um, have a good internet connection, and then when it restarts it should be running in Windows 10. And anyways, I'll follow up this video with a few others to go into more details about some of the apps, the difference between um, the desktop mode and the tablet mode, but this should give you an idea of, of some of the things that you can expect to see in the new version.